Hi everyone and welcome back to the Chileful Guide. Today I want to tell you about the one and only park that is completely dedicated for children in Santiago, Chile. This park is called Parque Bicentenario de la Infancia or Parque de la Infancia, which is basically park of the childhood. It's located in the commune Recoleta and it's open from Tuesday till Sunday from 9 a.m. till 9 p.m. during the week and 9 a.m. till 6 p.m. during the weekends. As most of the closed parks, this park is closed on Monday. The park is gigantic and basically the whole park is one giant playground. It has different areas for children of different age. Uh, children from the age from one, one and a half and until 15, 16 years will definitely enjoy this park. The entrance is free. Uh, you just need to measure your temperature right now because of COVID. There are security guards on each exit and entrance to this park. So there will not be any uh, homeless people or their houses like in the open parks. And there are not so many stray dogs. As you might know, there are a lot of stray dogs in Chile. They're usually not aggressive. Uh, obviously, sometimes there are some incidents. So it's good to know that in this park has like one or two maximum of stray dogs and they're pretty calm. Uh, there is a huge climbing area near the, near the fence. This climbing area is for children from three or four years old because it's sometimes kind of difficult to climb there. Like you need a lot of strength and the parent cannot really help the child because like there is just an entrance and then there is fence from both sides to protect the children. There are slides in the same climbing area. There are a lot of tree houses where children can play. There is a huge square with the swings. And then you have the area with the musical instruments. There is an area with cars. There is an area where children can climb. There is a huge area with slides. Uh, there are like 100 slides on this area. They are all made from stone and they are going like on the side of the hill. So what you can do, you can go until the top by stairs and then you can go down using these slides and there are like 10 rows of these slides that you can go. And it's pretty fun, even for the adults. Even though these slides are made from stone, they are safe. So don't worry, like if the child is gonna be panicking, you can always come with the child or you can just go by the stairs. There are quite a lot of trees, so you will always be able to find the shadow. And what I really liked about this park is that it has a few fountains where the children can play. There are like huge uh, balls made of stone and there is water coming from them. Uh, so the children, especially in the summer, they really enjoy running through this water. Uh, the whole park is on the side of the hill of the Cerro San Cristobal. So basically you can go until the top of the hill and then like go down from another side or using the teleferico. It's absolutely your choice or you can just play in this park and then go out. There are also some games uh, on the road. And if you don't know how to play these games, there are always instructions on the fence next to them. And the park is ending on top of the hill with a nice shadowy playground. Uh, so you can go until this playground and then go down or you can continue your walk on the top of the hill. Uh, before COVID times, there was a train that was going on top of the hill, but right now it's closed. Uh, hopefully when COVID will go away a little bit, it will open again. Uh, it was free of charge, like everything in this park. And another cool thing about this park are the views. Because the park is located on the hill, the higher you go, the better the view of the Santiago you have. Uh, so your children can enjoy playing in, on the, all of these playgrounds and you can enjoy just the walk and the views. Uh, one last thing that I love about the park is the library. This park has quite a big library for children for all ages. Uh, they have different master classes there or some lections or play groups for kids. It's absolutely free of charge. You don't even need to put your name in, nothing. You just go in and you enjoy the reading and playing with your kid. They hold 
a lot of meetings for the adults as well. So if you will go to this library or to the web page of this library, you can find the schedule that they have. Uh, they don't have as many books as, for example, the Library of Santiago. But if you just want some peace and quiet or some shadow while you're walking through this park, going to the library might be a really good idea. And the architecture of the library is just stunning. So if you're gonna pass through this park, definitely go visit the library. Uh, there are all kinds of utilities in the park, so if you need the bathroom, it's there. There are some fountains where you can drink water, but there are no shops where you can buy water or ice cream. Uh, the best way to come to this park is by bus or by car, uh, because the metro is not that close, and uh, there is quite a lot of parking on the nearby streets. This park has one of the best playgrounds that I have seen in Santiago so far. Uh, so if you're coming to Chile with your kids, then definitely visit it. And I hope you're going to like it as much as we did. Thank you so much for watching till the end and I'll see you next time.